and we don't know love like we should. 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 Like we, should. we always talk about I have unconditional love. love. Unconditional love is we don't even know it because if a person stops stimulating us, we stop loving them. I heard he sang a good song. I heard he had a style. And so I came to see him and listen for a while. And there he was, this young boy, stranger to my eyes. In hospitals, they do auto marketing for us. Sure. Like patients just show up and they just appear. Yeah. But for your business, you have to do the marketing for your business. I would go like literally just you know, right, right next above, to it. Right, right next to it. Hey y'all, it's a wrap. We complete our first class. Say hey, Barney. Haven't seen you in a while. Y'all, I am tired. I am about to exit stage left, get in my bed, and go to sleep. I still have to edit a vlog for y'all, and I have to get ready to go to Texas, so. Y'all not gonna see me for the rest of the night. I don't even think I vlog anything today. Y'all gonna have to give me y'all footage so that I can put it in my vlog. I need everybody to send me their footage, and not tomorrow, I need it tonight. I'm about to edit, because I've been doing vlogmas every day. And I have to put out a vlog tonight. Love I don't have, I have a hard drive. Love yours. Anyway, bye y'all. Oh, this is so random. No, I always come out here every time I look at myself. I like, and then I want to apologize for how I look. But I told myself I'm not going to do that because I'm a normal person and I'm not keeping on the camera. Anyway, I'm editing this vlog that you guys are watching. And I just want to say that i don't care what your dreams look like what your goals look like or what it doesn't look like what you feel like you're lacking in the moment because a lot of times we will not start something because we feel like it's not perfect enough and when i say we i mean me and looking back at this footage like i'm just so thankful that i still decided to go ahead with it when i think about my life and like how far i come like for y'all who have been following me before i was even a nurse like if you would have told me five years ago that i would be an injector and i would be hosting classes and teaching people how to become an injector or teaching people how to open a med spa or coaching people within their med spa on how to succeed i would have been like yeah you're not talking about me and i just want this to be a testament that you have to start somewhere and because you started that says so much about yourself i want y'all to get out of the mindset of like oh i have to especially when it comes to like youtube i get a lot of y'all like oh i want to start my youtube channel 
but what camera do I need? Like, I want y'all to get out of the mindset. Like, use me as an example. I always say, like, I do it so that y'all don't have to, like, follow in my footsteps as far as, like, the trial and error part. But let this be a testament that our class was not perfect. I didn't have everything exactly how I wanted to. I didn't have the amount of people that I wanted registered. Like, I didn't have every single thing that I wanted before I started. And I took the leap of faith. And I said, you know what? I am going to just do it. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, because y'all know I was going through it. I said, I am still going to do it. So let this be a testament that whatever you want to do, if that's go back to school, if that's want to start a YouTube channel, if that's want to open up a med spa, whatever you want to do, do not wait until it looks perfect or it feels perfect before you do it, because you will never be ready. Like, Nothing will ever be perfect. I could have had all the money in the world and all the people who registered in the world, but I guarantee you it still would have been something. So don't let what your situation looks like deter you from starting. At the end of the day, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to be able to teach somebody, not even just with the class, but with my coaching and my ebooks. Like it's just I'm in a space of like gratitude right now because I just appreciate people who really bang with me like y'all know that I'm just doing this like I ain't had nobody to teach me anything it was a lot of trial and error and I really just appreciate y'all for supporting me even though half of the time I don't even know what I'm doing I'm just teaching y'all based off of my experience and this just put me like in a space of like man I'm just so thankful to be doing something that I enjoy, something that I love, something that I'm passionate about. Not many people can say that. And I know, like looking back over the vlog footage, I was like a little bit in my feelings, not a little bit, I was in my feelings because, you know, it wasn't perfect and I didn't have the right number of people registered. And I didn't, you know, like in my, in my head, basically. And at the end of the day, I'm so glad that one, somebody believed in us to give us their hard-earned work money. But two, also, I'm just thankful to be able to do this in a capacity that I'm doing it. So, that's my little spill on that. See y'all tomorrow.